In this video, we will be demonstrating how to trim and place a no hub cast iron closet bent fitting. We start by adding a horizontal route line having a 1 quarter inch per foot slope. A vertical branch takeoff is then added along the route line, and a vertice is placed where the branch is to connect the slope main. We'll use 4 inch pipe for the main and 3 inch piping for the branch. Where the two come together, a 4x3 reducing combo fitting will be used. A Santee fitting is added to the vertical pipe. The branch of this fitting will be used for connecting the water closet waste piping, which will include the closet bend after it has been trimmed. The Santee is added in this way to ensure that it aligns vertically and doesn't follow the branch angle of the combo fitting. We want the Santee to connect directly to the combo fitting, so we will need to erase the short pipe and one of the couplings found between the combo and the Santee. The Santee coupling and the remaining pipe can be moved or stretched into the correct position. A closet collar is now added to accept the waste location of the water closet. We now add a coupling to both the Santee branch and to the bottom of the closet collar. What is missing is the closet bend found between these two points. What we need to do first, however, is to draw a route line between the two coupling ends. The route line is copied and exploded into a 3D polyline, and then this polyline is exploded, leaving us with a horizontal and a vertical line. The lengths of these lines represent the closet bend leg lengths needed for our water closet installation. The next step is to place a standard closet bend with leg lengths as long or longer than the horizontal and vertical lines. Select a closet bend fitting from the SPD fittings palette. Use the AutoCAD press pull command to adjust the physical ends of the closet bend. and use the Solid Pipe Designer SBD Author Fitting command to adjust the connection locations to those ends. Use the center point of the fitting to move it to the route line. If the fitting will be field trim, we are done. If the fitting is to be trimmed in the shop, the user can add leg length information to the fitting's properties for displaying in a bill of materials.